I'm Lindsay Hall. I worship at St Anne's Chase Town. Jesus famously said, love your enemies. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Jesus goes on to say, for if you love only those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? In Matthew's Gospel, tax collectors is code for do not the sinners do the same? Do not those who have no morals do the same? Jesus' challenge is for us to love those who don't belong to us, those who don't agree with us, those who we don't have a particular responsibility for, the people that even we are set against, our enemies. Love your enemies. It seems counterintuitive, it seems too difficult, it seems why would we want to do that? The whole point of our enemy is that we don't love them. But Jesus is talking in this passage in Matthew chapter 5 about the kingdom, about the world as he believes it can be, a world where we behave differently towards one another, a world where loving our enemies changes societies, communities. We love those who aren't our friends, aren't our family, might not be our neighbours or our community. You might not have been able to see your family or friends the last few months. You might have found new forms of community with people in your street, in your area. You might have found new forms of community online, connected with all sorts of different people. And something about this time of lockdown has given us the chance to think about who we do care for, not just those that we have a responsibility to, or not just those we choose, but any who need our help, any who we have the opportunity to engage with. Lots of people have told stories during this time of new friendships forged, of new groups who work together for the common good, of new support systems in communities that help people to feel cared for, included, and supported. When Jesus says love your enemies, it might sound like that is something superhuman to do. When he says what reward do you expect for loving those who love you, it might sound a bit unreasonable. But perhaps Jesus is pushing us to love more, to love more widely. And this is the way that God loves us, not just those of us who love God, not just those of us who behave a certain way, follow certain rules or certain practices. God loves all of us. God loves those who put themselves against God. And we are called to do the same. It can be easy to think of people as against us, as our enemies, even when we don't use that language. But hearing that we are called to love them is a very particular sort of challenge. And hearing that we don't get credit just for loving those who love us is also a challenge. Who might you be challenged to love? Loving God, we love because you love us. You show us what love is. And you show us that it is not just for friends and family, but for all your people, so that we can change the way we live together. Give us the courage to love our enemies, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.